So now I go to the Mage's Tower, I'm pretty sure. Right? Sometimes, sometimes it does yeah. pay to be a criminal. Circle of the Magi. Let's go. <laughs> Aha, there it is. <clears throat> <clears throat> so you mentioned you had a son. What happened to him? I honestly don't know, Alistair. He was taken from me. Such births are seldom, as there are ways to prevent it, but it does happen. And any child born to a circle mage belongs to the Chantry. I That's awful. Know. I'm sorry. It's all right. It was a long time ago. A very long time ago. Ten years, in fact! Do something about it? Do what? I was weak from the birthing process, and there were... No, there was nothing I could do. Do you think about him? All the time. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Oh, we need to change some shit. Yeah. Let's get started. <laughs> Walk like chimpanzee. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a monkey. I walk with purpose. Give me knives. <laughs> I think you can just go to the world map from here. Oh, can I? That will make my life so much easier. Yes. Oh, thank God. Hooray. I just saw that you were walking the whole way. I was like, okay. Oh, well, I had to last time because I didn't know I could do that. I guess I have to technically be outside. Yeah, you have to be outside. Yeah. Okay, who am I giving this to? This contact is a mage named Godwin. Yeah, you might recognize this guy when you speak to him. I recognize the name. Godwin, where are you? No, oh, not here. I'm guessing he's not in the basement. He's probably no. on the second floor. He is on the second floor. Supper last night. Oh, that? That's a traditional Ferelden lamb and pea stew. Do you like it? Oh, so it was lamb then. It had a certain... Texture I don't normally associate with lamb. They didn't make lamb and pea stew for you in Lothering? We ate simply there. Whole grains made into biscuits or bread, <coughs> and vegetables from the garden, cooked lightly. No heavy stews. Ah, so the last lamb you had was probably cooked or lesion style. Food shouldn't be fully and pretentious like that. Now, here in Ferelden, we do things right. Damn we take skippy. Our ingredients, throw them in the largest pot we can find, and cook them for as long as possible. <laughs> until everything is a uniform gray color as soon as it looks completely bland and unappetizing that's when i know it's done you're having me on <laughs> <laughs> you need to eat more ferelden inns <laughs> i was about to agree with him until he said that <laughs> when it's all gray and uniform in color we know it's done it is it is difficult to keep in mind sometimes that Lydia grew up in Orlais because she doesn't have an Orlesian accent. Get these out of the tower before they get fragrant. Cutting those abominations. It's wrong. Someone has to do it. Why do we have to take them across the lake to burn? The lake's right there. You don't put them in the fucking... Because if you put them in the water that you guys eat, and drink and bathe in, that would be really bad. And you don't want to burn them over here because if you think they're fragrant now and will be fragr fragrant when they decay, you've never smelled a corpse burning before. He's just a Templar. He's he's he's, <laughs> he's fucking dumb. He has he's a fucking. He's trying to rub as many brain cells as he can together at once. <gasps> no, I forgot we killed a nug before I understood what it was. It was a goat. I forgot we killed a poor innocent ghost nug. I mean, because you helped that guy wrangle his nugs, chances are you've killed more nugs than you than you're aware. <laughs> it's so Hi, Colin. I wish I could have gone with them to fight. 
you're okay, small man. <laughs> Keep Colin in mind. He will pop up occasionally. <laughs> no, we will see our boy again. I'm just, that's what I'm saying. Colin will. I'm sure his again. name. Uh, his name looks. It looks familiar to me. All right, bruh. Ah, she's over there. Mm, so got it. And then I will proceed to walk in exactly the opposite way of what I said. So, ooh, is there anything in here? Is there anything in here? No, it just shows up. For it's reason. always yeah. It's it's been like that since the game launched. Well, way back in two thousand nine. Whatever. Hey, woo! Hey, guy from cupboard. How are you? Oh, it's you, you saved the circle. I kiss your feet if you didn't look as though you'd kill me if I did that. You'll settle for a handshake, won't you? Give me a kiss on the forehead, eh? Handshake? Yes, Chris. No. Uh, your name is Godwin. I met a dwarf who mentioned you. Rogek. Well, he's a personal friend, and sometimes we, uh, you know, correspond. Did he, uh, have anything for me? Lyrium, but I bought it, so you're dealing with me now. Yes, yes. I'll take it off your hands right now. Ah, uh, what about 50 sovereigns? That's a good price, no? It wasn't easy getting here. 75. I have 65 sovereigns and this dagger I stumbled upon in the tower. Will that do? Very nice. Here's your lyrium. Done and done. You have your gold and I have my lyrium. Everyone's happy. Out of curiosity, do you know why this lyrium took so long to get here? There's trouble in Ozamar and they're keeping people out. Dwarves and their politics. Always causing trouble. How is the situation True. now? <laughs> I think the unrest will continue for some time. Ah, I see. Well, I just wanted to know if I should expect another late delivery. Why do you need all the lyrium? Well, uh, mages need lyrium for spells and things. Nothing you'd know about. Wynn is right here. I just want to point out mm. that while you do do need lyrium mm -hmm. to cast spells, yeah. But keep in mind, the Templars are addicted to Lyrium. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. And there are mages who will take advantage of that. Yeah. I'm curious, and I saved you. I suppose you did at that. Well, yes, but you see, the Templars ah. use Lyrium too. They cannot manipulate natural energies like mages can, but they need to be able to fight us big problem with lyrium is that it has diminishing returns and the templars become dependent on it you're you're taking advantage of the templars encouraging them and for money you despicable profiteering crook well, if it wasn't me and rogek someone else would do it what happens to the templars they go sort of funny in the head i mean they see things that aren't there or have trouble holding on to a thought. Not all of them, though. Some are worse than others. One of the fellows here has it pretty bad. Carol, I think. You must make a lot of money off of this. <laughs> Hardly. I get by. I'm sorry, a very large beetle just crawled out of my air conditioner. I have to deal with that. No, uh-uh. That's <laughs> not happening! No, no, no! Oh my god, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh no! Where is it? Oh, I don't know where it went! Oh, I don't like that! Well, shit, I don't know where it went. Oh no! Oh, I'm back. Oh, I don't know where it went. <laughs> That that one TikTok that we watched where they were like hiring a guy and they were like judging on whether or not he can kill a spider. Yeah. <laughs> <So hard. laughs> yeah. 
Well, I hope you find it because that does not sound great. Uh huh. I'm sure I will. I just hope it's not when I'm getting ready for bed and it's on my pillow or something. Ugh. I think I'll take my leave of you now. Goodbye, Ben. And back in the closet he goes. Okay, then. He just lives in there. I guess he does. And you know what? That's probably where he should stay. I do like, by the way, that when he gets really upset, uh, Alistair gets kind of flustered. And so he, and so the, some of the insults he spews aren't particularly like, uh, it, like they're not like curse words or anything. He's just like you're. It's actually, it's, you know, it's like the episode of of uh, Last Airbender we watched the other night with Hang. You, you're all horrible. You're awful. You're all awful. And that's just kind of it. Yeah. <laughs> They're bad, bad people. Who to you? Alistair, what's this? It's a sock. It's a filthy sock. How did it find its way to my bedroll? Squeeze me. Likes you. Socks are sneaky like that. Anyway, it's not mine. It has your name stitched on it. Oh, <laughs> uh, part of Templar training back at the Chantry. The men were uh, always getting their socks mixed up. Anyway, um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is feeling a little damp anyway. A change would be nice. You're going to put it on? It's filthy. And dry. We're not exactly traveling in the lap of luxury here. What hideous habits you've picked up. Why did you hold on to that until just now, when? I'll wait for an answer. Let's just say, let's just say that the sock wasn't dirty when she found it. <laughs> <laughs> no! No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> this old lady is in defeat. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do I have to go talk to that guy again? Yes. <laughs> A shriek is the appropriate response to that, says Ferb. <laughs> you're, you're awful. You're horrible. <laughs> is that egg custard in that tart? Yes, egg. It is. Probably. <laughs> I guess that explains then how the how the mosquitoes got in. They're coming through the air conditioner. But how? It's supposed to have. Then again, how the hell did that thing get in? It's got a mesh. I don't understand. I'll figure out how the hell that happened. Broski. Well, if it isn't my new best friend, you make it to the tower yet? Package delivered as promised. Excellent. I must say I wasn't sure I'd see you back here. Now. That was ten sovereigns we agreed to, right? No, it was twenty. Uh, right. Just testing. <laughs> if you weren't paying attention, I know you didn't need the coin, right? Thanks. As you wish. I think he doesn't have one, but I'm going to check this general store real quick to see if he has a backpack. Back to buy something, I hope. I want that... There's all the pelts I sold him. Okay, so no, he does not. Cool, great. Hi, Cece. If you see an icky bug, will you eat it, please? Well, maybe not eat it, but just kill it. I don't want you getting diseases. Ooh, the import store might have one. Unless this is where I was. Nope. Hi. 
you have something more pleasant you wish to do. I'm Show me your shit. <laughs> nope. Bye. Need to make sure that we've stocked up on all of the important crap before we go into the deep road. Ooh, Unless you think we should go to our camp first, it has been a while since we've spoken to anybody. If you want, if you think that would be prudent to do before you journey off. Yeah, that probably is, because then I can clear everything out of my bag, because I've got stuff in there that I'm going to give to other people. Yeah, uh, then, yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go do ahead. that. Sure I thing. will do that. Nothing like a little bit of party management before the major quest line. Yup. <laughs> it must be a wonderful thing to be able to read spells. Wonderful? <laughs> to you, perhaps. Most do not feel the same way. Oh, what do they know? They are just jealous. Your maker gives you magic. You must use it. You do it so effortlessly. It's like breathing for you. I wish I had such talent. But you do. You have your music, your dances. You are more graceful than anyone I've ever met. I think that perhaps the Maker gives us all magic, but of different sorts. I never thought of it that way. I suppose we all have our little gifts. Back in Orle, I knew a noble lady who was like most of the other noble ladies, fair of face and slow of wit. <laughs> anyway, Katerina had the most uncanny ability to tie knots in the stems of cherries using only her tongue. Oh. It was very <laughs> the men uh -huh. loved watching her. Uh, uh -huh. yes, that's exactly the sort of maker-given magic I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my da. god. Oh, duh. Oh my. How is she a bard? <laughs> How is she not a bard? How is she a bard? If she, does, she doesn't know. Oh, that's what true. That is. She doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. We should introduce her to the guy who can make uh, uh, paper cranes by sticking a piece of paper in his mouth. They're very small. I've seen a video of him doing it, so there seems to be some kind of, uh, excuse me, some truth to it. I have a thing for you. Yeah. Look at that. She's beautiful. Or he. They are gorgeous. Severin, I have... Drake armor for you. Yeah, this will be good. All right. Yeah, he'll he'll have a full set set from that. I don't have any better weapon for you. I don't think so. Mm. Ooh. Extra backstab damage. This one does extra damage overall. That's better. Very nice. Sten, I don't think I have anything for you. Nope. Hello, puppy! Got nothing new for you, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And that's... that's everything. Okay. Hi, Bodan! You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Let me see I'm your sure stuff!
I'll hold on to that. That's the fancy. Very nice. All right. Do you have backpack? It has onion. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the crafting? Aha! This is what we need. Don't worry, I'm not gonna go completely bonkers. I'm only going to get five golds worth of each. That's a lot. You Remember, you want to hold on to a lot of money for endgame. I know. Okay. I'm just, I just want to be able to... I, look, I just want to be able to craft some very important pieces of equipment. All right. Which I actually didn't check to see if you had either. Do you have injury kit? No. Do not have. Got it. Enchantment? Enchantment? Yes. Enchantment! Yeah! Alright, let's see what we got. That's physical resistance. What do we got in here? Journeyman's paralysis rune, another paralysis rune, and a frost rune. Okay. Okay, so I just have extra undead. So what kind of stuff? Alistair, what do you have? Okay. Lightning rune, so it's super much. Okay. Thank you. Let's give all the runes to the things. Uh, what am I going to do with this malachite, by the way? Because I have a shit ton of it. Donate it! That was extremely when, loud, okay. When you get to the drawers, you will dimly them alive. Turn in runes. Give all of these. Sorry for yelling. It's okay. Give runes. Give crafting. Uh, have all the death roots. Oh yeah, I can't donate them yet. Yeah, I, I said you'll when you get the dwarves, you donate them. Should I turn in some money to Arl Eamon now? Yes. Now that you have some, yeah. Okay. Uh, you'll get more gold as the game progresses but you want to basically you want to keep your gold at over a hundred gold okay Generous as always, Warden. you're welcome i gave them 30 money which should leave me at just about a hundred yep okay everybody let's go uh and you spoke to everybody and oh i didn't i didn't i didn't okay oh i can't leave <laughs> Well, when you select them, you can just go back to the camp. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I fucked up. Sorry, guys. Bruce. Trying to find a way through the earth, are we? It's going to take some time, you know. There he goes. Well, good luck with that then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? Good for him. I hope that I hope it makes him happy. Hello, Win. What's on your mind? Nothing. It is no trouble. Liliana. Something I can help with? No. Severin. What say you? Nothing. Stan. You called. Let's go. As you wish. My. Shale. Uh. 
never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, At least Shale lets you know right up front how how they're feeling. Mm-hmm. Hello, Morgan. I await your command. Never mind. Ah, she feels good about you. Yes, she does. Okay. And before I talk to Alistair, actually, I should give presents. I have quite a few of those. That'd be a good way to get the shit out of my thing. I have the search for the true prophet. Uh, Tattertome explores the possibility that Andraste was a powerful mage and not the maker's chosen. Who wants this? I mean, he likes art. I know he'll want the painting of a goose girl, right? Sten likes painting. Uh, let me, let me look to be sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, know, you could look this up. I could. I'll type it up on my phone while you look on your phone. We will do it together. Yes, it would be a good gift for STEM. Woo! Unexpected. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Ancient map of the Imperium. Let's see who might want that. Uh, don't look that up because it will spoil something for you. Okay. Uh, it is for a potential companion that you can get. Okay. I don't know if you'd want that companion. Okay. So Ogren, Ogren, so Ogren is the last, like, true companion that you can get. But there is another one that you can get at mm. the end of the game. Ah. Uh, I don't think you would want that companion, but okay. I, I mean... Do you want to? Do you want to know? No, so, so you can make no. Your decision? We'll we'll wait. We'll wait until they show up. I mean, they've continue. already you've already met them. I will say that. Ah, they're a person you've met. Is it a person I don't like? Probably you don't like. Yeah. <sighs> it's dickweed, ain't it? Who killed the? Who left the king to die? Yes. Oh, uh, fuck him. I don't want him in my party. Okay, well... Alright. Do you want to know... I don't want to... We'll, we'll wait until we, we we get to that point. I don't want... I don't want to... To... Like, spoil anything, so we'll, we'll just move on. <laughs> <laughs> we just now know this... that there's potential for Piss Baby. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, if you don't want them in the party, you can get rid of it if you want. Uh, I, I guess mean, we'll you... hold on to it until we understand if... what the consequences. I are. mean, if if you if you sell it to what's his face, you can just buy it back, right? Yes, I'll so. go sell it to him. I am assuming that Morrigan wants this rune, the black rune stone. Unless it's not her. Let's find out. Uh, no. No. That is Alistair's gift. Really? Yes, that is a gift for Alistair. Oh, Ali. Is that for me? Yes, it really? was. Wow. I'm... Wow. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dragon Age gift... Oh, the the wiki actually censors who the gift is. Ah. Or rather rather who the secret companion was. Okay. Yeah. All right, who is that? Specifically to win. Okay. Search for the true prophet belongs to win. But yes, the secret companion oh. is indeed a guy is is the is indeed the, the, piss baby. The, the, the dick munch piss baby. Yeah. Oh, I inspired Sten. Yay! All right, let's sell the map to you sure and buy I it later. You in this hat? I'm sure. <laughs> Do you want this hat? No. All right. Any other crap I can? No. Cool. All right. Now I can talk to Alistair, and then we can leave. 
Something you need, my dear. I had another dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I think we need to be extra careful. I thought we were already being extra careful. Does that mean we have to be extra, extra careful now? Great. And there I was enjoying my nap. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Also, I agree with you, Ferb. I would like to kick Piss Baby down the well as well. Okay. Let's do a hard save. I have to remember how to spell Baronka's name. I'm going to assume that's how I spell it. I could look it up, but whatever. It's a save file. Who gives a shit? Yes. Well, bam. Indeed. Yes. Quickly to Orzammar. Loading. 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 Ah, fight happened. Not you again! Leave me alone! I don't want your stuff! You don't have anything useful! Go away! <laughs> he made it all the way over here to Ozamar. Yeah, there we go. All right. Doodly doodly do. Oh, the delicious nugs. I'm not going to lie, the description they had of them does sound delicious. Oh, it's like keeping a chicken as a pet. There you are. I thought I'd spoken to a Grey Warden, but for some reason I chalked it up to the drink. I know you're down here to look for Bronca, and uh, I need to ask a favor. I did spell her name incorrectly. Also, hello, Steve. You've been trying to get help to find Bronca, right? I, I have. For all the sodding good it's done me, I'm the only one who still cares about her as a person. Everyone else thinks she's just a symbol they can leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. I know what Bronca wanted and how she was looking. You presumably know everything Balin's scouts have discovered about where she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Don't I have enough armed lunatics following me already? Sounds like we have a deal. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, Ooh. which was lost centuries ago. The smith Caradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Caradin's cross. No one's seen that tag for 500 years. All right, then let's get going. Great. Once we're there, I should be able to pick up Bronca's trail. No trouble. Lead on. It's too bad I can't bring Shale. Oh, blast it. Uh, you will be able to bring Shale later. Shale will have a quest that will bring you down here once, nice. once more. Nice. But you have to befriend Cheryl. I'm doing my best. She doesn't have a whole lot of stuff she wants. You have to be friends with Cheryl. All right, let's figure out what he has. Oh, Karen, what you got? Okay, you're a two-hander. Indeed. Do you want me to guide you on how to make sure that he is good? 
Yes, please. I know that to... Okay, so he's got Berserk and he has Threaten. I know we want Threaten <sighs> to be on at all times. His title, by the way, just he... to let you know who you're, who you're dealing with and what you're getting yourself into. He is. His in-game title is The Drunkard. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> people who laugh have never met a drunk. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have a few family members. Yeah, they, they aren't pleasant. No. Um, so, so, uh, yeah, so you want to get all four. Oh, wait, you know, you already have, you already invested in skills, correct? Mm hmm Yeah, it looks like, uh, I don't think that he's got the ability to level up. Oh, oh wait, yes, he does. Okay, he is. Ah, he has uh, one, uh, thing. I am assuming I might want to give him, uh, yeah, he has a specialization. Champion. Yes, champion, 100%. That will keep him alive. There he goes. He is now a champion. Yeah, you'll want to deck him out, too. you want to kit him out if you have any armor that you can get? <laughs> I don't. That's okay. You'll find plenty of stuff down here. Chase the depths. You may struggle to keep him alive. Just to let you know. Mm. For until until you're able to get him more stuff. Yeah. He needs trinkets. I'm guessing all this booze is for him. Yes. I'll I hold don't... off giving it to him now until he's officially in my party. Mm, I think I mean I, maybe you could give it to him now. I don't remember. You know what? Quick save, we'll find out. Oh, hold on, let me look it up. Okay. In that meantime, I will run to the armorer very quickly and get him a hat. I'll see what I can get him. Uh, I know that that blacksmith guy ain't gonna give me fucking nothing. Because I told his daughter to leave. Hi, Figor. You have I mean, more you could you could give them a gift, discuss. maybe I guess. I'm showing you the lowest know. prices. I hush now, sir. Don't be a baby. Ah, he has f fuck all. All right then. You'll, you'll, don't worry. You'll, you'll have stuff to to equip him with. He has a remarkable um, emerald, which might be a gift for Shale. Doesn't really look like it though. Anyway. Let's go over here. Remarkable emerald? Yeah, he had a thing called a remarkable emerald in his inv inventory, and I said, "Huh, I wonder if that's a gift." That, that is, that is a gift for uh for shale. For shale. Yeah. Oh, I'll go buy it buy then. Something, I hope. I want that surface. Ah, good. Uh, compare it to. Let's compare it to Ogren, who currently does not have a hat. Okay. That's all I needed to get. It's all he has that I could give him anyway, but... That's all I'm willing to spend money on currently. Okie dokie, Augie. Here's a hat. And here are some gloves that are better. Although... I don't know what your bonus would be to having all of that. It's probably better to have the set bonus? Maybe... Yeah. I'll go with the extra armor until I determine something better. All right. Let's go get this gift for Shale. Now that we've discovered it. Trish. Did you have something more? Such a pie hole. Bye. Right. 
Now we can go into the deep roads for real reels. This should be easy enough. I don't know why the Mario theme seemed applicable. Quickly to the crossroads! Keratin's Cross. I can't believe Balin actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Tide. Hmm. Do you see any sign of Bronco yet? Not a one. But trust me. We will once we're on the path to the old Orton Taig. She was going to Keridan's home. Okay, great. Let's go. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. Hi! Something tells me that you're not here to party. Well. Look what we have here. Some of Balin's new toadies. Let's show them who's king. Your voice was not what I expected, I must admit. Hi. Time for some fun. Die, damn it! There you go. There's a lot of good armor I can buy back from Balin, uh, that I can give him. Or not Balin. Fucking, I forgot his name. <laughs> I forgot the name of our armor guy. There's too many people with bees in their names. Anyway, whatever. Balin's the guy we're working for. Ah, uh, when care to partake of Ogren's fine homebrew? It's the drink of the gods. Mm, ale, is it? And I hope it's brewed hygienically? Of course. I may not know clean from a beggar's ass when it comes to most things, Okay! But I don't mess around with my ale. Very well, let's have a taste. Well, well, what do you think? Mm, very nice. Ah, you like it? <laughs> well, I never... Attractive amber color, nutty flavor, slightly sweet. Just a hint of toastiness. There's some spice to it I'm finding hard to place. Yes, yes. Is it cloves? Cloves! Ha <laughs> ha! By the stone, you're a lady after my own heart. If I weren't buckled in this armor, I'd take you around the corner and, well, you know. You're married! You're married, sir! Uh. Yes, though you will see why he is the way he is. Right. <laughs> he likes when, that's for sure. He may be married. And but so is his wife. That's all I'll say. <laughs> that's an interesting statement that you've made. I know. I know. Ah. That's a lot of dead dark spawn. You guys gonna get up and I have to kill you? A lot of people don't like Ogren, and fair fair enough. Ogren is a drunk and is very rude, and frankly, he is mm. sexist and harasses women a lot. Uh, right. However, mm. I'm, this is not an excuse for his behavior. He shouldn't be doing that. And if you do befriend him, he does get better about it. Mm -hmm. However, everyone has their reasons, and I think that Ogren... I... I do pity him. I don't, I don't, it's not an excuse for his behavior. I need to emphasize that. He is, mm -hmm. he does tend to be kind of dirty and awful. But I do feel bad for him. Um, I can understand that. You can have a terrible person and be like, oh, well, I see he how knew, you got he here. He knew, he, he was romantically involved with Bronca before she became a par paragon. Hmm. 
And let's just say giving a person that much veneration and that much power tends to change people. Uh, ooh, or, we have, or maybe uh... enhance traits that were already there. Great. Well, we have two ways we can go. Yeah. We have an upper tunnel and a lower tunnel. Let's try the upper one first. It looks like it might lead to a dead end. Uh, Ferb, I'm not. I'm not saying that a person who's married makes them. F it's complicated. You'll see. You'll see. Yeah, I think. I think that that uh, that they were referring to me going like, "Sir, you're married." Oh yes, yes. I think that I, they were I, like, I "Oh, just because he's married doesn't mean he's." Married. I understand. I'll, uh, what I'm referring to is is. Uh, just keep in mind that maybe Hi. Uh, it's an open relationship perhaps maybe not by choice Oh, hit, look at the ones. Oh. Yeah, you'll you'll see. It's once you meet Bronca, things will become clearer. Ah, uh, I'll meet her and I'll go. Oh, I get it. Okay. They may have been in love in the beginning, but it's not really working anymore from the sound of things. Bronca, let's just say this: the first time I encountered Bronca. I, and, and, you know, Alex, you know me, so this is something I don't say with, with, you know, lightly, but she, oh my God. she made me feel a pit in my stomach. That's all I'll say. Oh, well. Mm. Not a lot of characters make me feel that way, but Bronca made me Ow. feel pretty, pretty gross. I'll bite off your arm. You'll like a lot of Ogren's taunts. Nah, uh 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 no 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 good sir oh ogren has ogren has been hexed he cannot be healed oh well he's gonna go down sorry my guy oh i leveled up that's great <laughs> it's either gonna be you or it's either you or me and it is gonna, gonna be, be me. me i'm gonna die too also <laughs> i've been hexed as well Yep, yeah, the, the emissaries have to go down quick. Uh, they are. Remember, the the emissary was a boss fight uh, early in the game. Now you're going to be encountering them frequently. All right. Yeah. Everybody okay? What is the problem? It is. It is a solid voice line. Whenever Alex gets around to playing through the Mass Effect trilogy, another mm -hmm. one that you'll like is, I will destroy you! <laughs> <laughs> it be actually became meme-worthy by the end of the trilogy. Oh, that's amazing. They, 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 they meme it up a couple of times in the third game. You know, actually, hold on a second. I think I figured out how I can fix the volume issue. Let me turn you down a little bit here. Then, I'm going to turn up the volume here. Can you say something, please? Something? Okay, I need to turn you up a bit more. I am saying something. Something, 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 something. Perfect, something, there something, we something. go. That should be yeah. it. Because you're popping in right about where I wanted you to be. Where you want me to be. Naha! I turned up the broadcast uh, volume. You've got me right where you want me. Sweetheart, we're in public. <laughs> Ask me anything. Yeah, my my uh, goblin voice. <laughs> that reminds me, I need to start writing uh, lines for the map promos. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need more cunning for, for the thing as well. So we'll slap some cunning in there. 
Nature level 2 acquired. Superiority! Flee! Run in fear. God, he has such extreme shadows on his portrait. Dark spawn approach. Watch for their blood. Where? Uh oh. All the way over there. This should be easy enough. Okay. Ah, oh, there he is. You Hi, big guy. Please activate my mention, thank you. Well, oh, another body. I telekinetically picked that up, that was funny. I actually saw Trap that. Right ahead. Trap right ahead. Uh. On your guard. Wing, come back here. They keep turning off my dual weapon. This should be easy enough. Freeze! Delicious. noises they make when they die just <laughs> sounds like someone's turning a cow inside out all right what is over here and what do i need to kill they're all getting locks excellent wonderful ah, a big boy Uh-oh, here he comes. Here he oh, comes. Oh, Lord, he coming! Oh, Lord, he coming! All right, Liliana. You could kill... Never mind, you took those down. Great. Do that. There's the music, time to dance! Yeah. Thank you. Please die, thank you. Right. I like that we have two battle auras going on right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very it's very, very strong. Like the 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 it's one thing I will say is like a lot of people don't like the warrior classes in, in this game and in the following games because they think they're boring, but Honestly, despite the fact that some people find them boring, they are really strong. Yeah. Like yeah. in Inquisition, there's there's a build called the Walking Fortress, and it like you literally can't die. Like it like no matter. I have soloed dragons in Dragon Age Inquisition. That's fantastic. <laughs> Those are like world bosses. <laughs> okay, so there's a little side tunnel. Yes, Satan. Ah. And they're called shrieks for a reason. I see. <laughs> Anybody else? 
Oh, all right then. I love the sound design for the shrieks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to think it's probably just some guy making wheezing sounds. So I'm assuming this will double back somewhere because this can't go on forever. I'm just trying to decide when I should double back to check this little side piece out because I don't know if this was something, you know? Uh, you, 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 you can double back, don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming I can double back regardless, but you know. I just don't... Well, the part, part of well, it is just, all about just, efficiency. Just wait and see if it loops. <laughs> okay. Ah! It does pop back in past the... We are popping back into the thing. In a different location. You want a quick save? Because, man, the deep roads suck. <laughs> I'll just say that. Okay, that's to an exit to more deep roads. Oh, hello. Ozamar's History, Chapter 1. How long is who? Okay, let's read this quickly. This will be our last thing before uh, before I do a, a... Well, I'll do whatever that combat is, and then I'll do a save. Uh, Ozamar History, Chapter 1. The memories tell us that our kingdom once reached far beneath the mountains, and that the tigers were almost beyond counting. Kael Sharak was the capital then, home to all the noble houses, and Orzammar was simply the home of the miner and smith castes. It was with the Tevinter Imperium that things changed. Paragon Garal moved the seat of power to Orzammar once uh, uh, eh, to more closely oversee the trade that began with the surface. It seemed that our people were entering a new age of prosperity. The memories hold no explanations for the coming of the Darkspawn, only questions. At first, there they were rumors, noises in the deep roads, a lost traveler here and there. The warrior cast sent men to patrol the road and thought the matter settled. We did not know that while we searched for them, they were engaged in a search of their own. Sleeping deep in the stone itself was the Archdemon. They found him and awakened him, and the blight began. The Darkspawn poured out of the deep roads like smoke then, and the warrior cast struggled to hold them back. Countless tigers were lost in that first blight, but as ever, in the worst moments of our need, a paragon arose. Paragon Adokan led the or Adukan led the defenses of Orzammar, and the Dark Horde was beaten back. The cost of victory, however, was great. Much of the deep roads were sealed to hold back the dark spawn, cutting off tigers and even whole cities forever. Oof. Big haoof. All right, so that will go to wherever that is going. Hi, buddy! <laughs> did I get him? Okay, good. <laughs> he didn't really do anything. Was like, did, did you die? Hello? <laughs> My happy dance. Amazing. Let's get started. All right. You don't got nothing. Okay. Cool. Great. All right. We've dealt with that, and we will head that away next time. Cause it looks like this is gonna connect back up with the deep roads. I mean, this was a crossing, so it seems like this will probably be the intersection over here. So we can go up and check what that's all about. All right. Okay, so we'll do a hard save right here. I spelled her name wrong, so I'm gonna actually make a new save, and I'm going to call it. <laughs> I'm gonna call it. Baranka. There we go. <laughs> now her name is spelled correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right. I want to thank everybody who stopped by for the stream. It, it's always a joy to see you all here and know that somebody is entertained by by what I do. It makes me happy. Uh, as always, all the social links are below this video, both here on Twitch and later on YouTube, including links to my Patreon. If you like my stuff, you can support me for as little as a dollar and get access to my Discord, and at high, higher levels you will get all sorts of other cool shit, including free art, and that'll be great. So yes. You guys have a great rest of your day and a wonderful weekend. We'll see you next. Bye-bye. Goodbye. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers over on Patreon and give a special shout out to Jack Fox, Old Monster, Dizarin, 
Revolution 72, and A Furb Among Us. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I'd also like to give a big thank you to everyone else watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know with a like and a comment. Be sure to have a look at the other videos on my channel, and subscribe so you never miss a new one. Links to my Patreon, Twitch, and all my other socials are in the description below the video. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!